Hurricane season is here, and the mayor's office says the city has an action plan in place. This comes after the devastating impact from the remnants of Hurricane Ida and the tragic loss of lives last year. CBS 2's Alicia Reed reports families should also prepare for potentially extreme weather. Nearly a year after Hurricane Ida hit New York City, leaving dozens dead and structural damage across the region, city agencies are working to ensure this hurricane season looks a lot different. It was not high tides that impacted us. It was rain. The rain, the level of rain was at a level where our sewer system was unable to handle. And we're going to make sure that we're prepared in this coming season. While the city designs and constructs infrastructure to combat climate change, Mayor Eric Adams says a recent meeting with the Office of Emergency Management to look at basement apartments seemed promising. In the meantime, rainfall-ready New York City is hoping to help protect New Yorkers from flooding. Among other things, the mayor's initiative will check the water drainage system. But Mother Nature is unpredictable, and we have to pivot and shift with Mother Nature with her unpredictable aspects. The public can also work with city government to prepare by clearing debris from catch basins and curb lines to help prevent flooding and using the flood map to see if their neighborhood is in a flood zone. The mayor says legislation from the state level will help play a huge part in legalizing and bringing basement apartments up to code. But with tens of thousands of unregulated apartments here, Sylvia Morse from the Pratt Center for Community Development says the city can approve zoning and building code reforms to prevent further deaths. So there is a tremendous amount of work that the city could be doing and must be doing now that unfortunately we don't see outlined in the mayor's housing blueprint that was recently released. Morse tells us a recent basement conversion pilot program in East New York to bring basement apartments up to code was defunded during the COVID budget cuts and hasn't been restored, leaving the most vulnerable neglected. Many of the tenants of basement apartments are low income, immigrants, people of color in neighborhoods that are underserved. Now, keep in mind, extreme weather can happen at any time. Make sure to have an emergency plan for you and your family should that occur. Dana. Speaking of family, Alicia, welcome to ours here at Ooh. Channel 2. Thank you so much. I'm excited to right? be back in my hometown. Tell from us. The flagship station. As oh. you can imagine, my mom, grandma, the entire family Everybody's is tuned psyched. in right now. Are they watching right now? <laughs> oh, they're tuned in. Oh, we're so glad to have her here with us. I'm excited to be here. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Alicia.